So let's say we want to um, solve these two more challenging linear inequality problems. Um, really this is going to come down to your manipulation of algebra and how strong you are in that department. So hopefully you'll be able to follow each step as we go. So let's look at number one. We have three lots of x plus two all over four is greater than x minus five over five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 5, okay, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. That'll get rid of the 4 and the 5 um, at the bottom in the denominators, effectively. Okay, so the fractions will disappear. So if I multiply both sides by 5, the 5 goes from that side, and I'm going to have 3 lots of 5, so 15 lots of x plus 2. And I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. So that 4 goes, and I'm going to multiply this by 4. So that's greater than 4 lots of x minus 5. Okay? So multiply both sides by 5 and both sides by 4. Effectively, the 5 went there and the 4 went up there. Now I'm going to expand the brackets. So we're going to have 15x plus 30 is greater than 4x minus 20. So if I take 4x from both sides and I take 30 from both sides, I'm going to have 11x is greater than minus 50 and then I can divide both sides by 11. And that would be my final answer. Let's look at number 2. We have two fractions here, um, algebraic fractions at that, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cross multiplication to deal with these fractions. So I'm going to multiply this by 5, so I'm going to have 5 lots of 3x, so 15x plus 5, all over, well 5 times 4, so 20. Take away 4 times these two terms, so 4 lots of 2x is 8x, 4 lots of minus 3 is minus 12, and that's all over 20. Okay, so that's using cross multiplication, and that's still greater than or equal to 2. So now that I have a common denominator, I can combine these two fractions and write that as 15x plus 5, take away 8x, take away minus 12, so that's plus 12 now, the two minuses, that's usually where students go wrong. So if I tidy up the numerator, 15x take away 8x is 7x, 5 plus 12 is 17, So let's go up here now. If I multiply both sides by the 20, 7x plus 17 is greater than or equal to 40. So two lots of 20. Take the 17 from both sides. So 7x is greater than or equal to uh, 23. And then divide both sides by the 7. So it really required you to use cross-multiplication in order to get to the answer there.